guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is Mufida and I would like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve the bright under eye look that is trending these days I'm gonna keep it simple as much as I can so you guys can grasp how to get your under eyes to look bright and I'm also gonna throw in a very colorful eye look so if you want to see how this video goes down carry on watching and let's get right into it so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly get my eyebrows done and then we can get them out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brows up with my concealer from MAC. This is the Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette. I'm gonna go in with the shade NC45. I'm gonna use that to clean the bottom part of my brows. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. I'm gonna go ahead and push a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder under my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and fill my brows in with this pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brows up with this shade. This is NC50. I'm gonna use that to just clean up the top of my brows because it's closer to my skin tone. I'm gonna just do the eye makeup in case you are not really interested in the eye look you would just skip to where I'm doing the base yeah I'm gonna conceal my brows with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade chestnut so I'm just going to rub this into my skin I'm gonna go ahead and push powder into my eyelid to set the concealer So in today's eye look, I'm going to use my Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place. I haven't used this in a really long time. So I'm going to start off with this shade called Fulani. I'm going to put that onto my outer V. It's just a taupey brown color. I'm just going to focus it out here. And then I'm gonna go lightly into my crease in between my eyebrow and 
the bridge of my nose just going to blend this in like so it's the same color by the way and then i need a very dark brown so i'm gonna dip into my nuban beauty eyeshadow palette and i'm gonna use this shade right here i'm gonna just dip that here so it darkens the outer v just a little bit yeah so this is what i'm going for And you're not going to dip back into the palette you're literally just going to use what's left on the brush and then you bring it into the inner corners just like so so there's a little bit of darkness going on inside here And then I'm gonna dip into this black right here. What I'm gonna do is to place it out here. I'm using a stiff brush so that the black doesn't spread out too much. So it looks something like this. And I'm gonna go back in with the brush, literally just using what's left on the brush. And I'm just blending it out at the same place. So that kind of looks like this. As you can see, this is more diffused than this one. So I'm gonna do the same. So this is just a good base for any eyeshadow look that you are going for. So you can literally go from very bright colors to very muted colors from shimmer to matte. Any one that you want, you just literally put it on your eyelid. So I'm going to pick a very bright color, something different. So I'm going to go in with this blue right here. All you need is a literal flat brush. So I'm going to dip into this right here. This is called Dahlia. It's a very nice blue color. Looks like this. So I'm gonna just put that on my eyelid. Looks really good. Looks really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and change my scarf just cause I feel like it's clashing with the color. So I'm gonna be right back. I don't know, some people don't care, but I do. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to just spread this blue out. And I'm gonna do same to this eye. What I'm gonna do now is to create a liner and I'm gonna use the matte black that I used earlier at the outer V. Just a tiny line on my lash line. I'm not going to create a wing. I'm gonna just smudge the black at the outer V. You guys are gonna see in a sec. And then I'm gonna go ahead and smudge the black at the outer V and just sort of wing it out just like so. Lashes are on, so I'm gonna start off with my base. My skin is already moisturized, so what I'm gonna do is to apply my primer. I'm gonna be using two primers. Cause it's getting really, really hot, I like to mix two primers. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use that. First of all, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. So I'm gonna apply the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer all over my skin. Usually the places that don't get oily, I have combination skin, so the oiliness is focused usually at the center of my skin. I also just go in to the center of my skin with a little bit of the e.l.f. before I go in with my second primer. And then I'm gonna go in with the Zaron Face Primer. This is an oil-free instant pore filling primer. It's good for normal to oily skin. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this much I'm just going to apply the at the center of my face instantly the pores have left the chat so I just like doing this step because it just helps my makeup apply smoother especially when it's very hot 
and then i just like to go in with a little bit of laura mercier powder like the setting powder i'm gonna be using and i just you know push that in the center of my face For foundation, I'm gonna use the NARS Soft Matte Foundation in the shade Macau. I'm just going to, you know, drop that on my skin. I'm gonna spread it out with my fingers. Then I'm gonna go ahead and buff it into my skin. I'm gonna go with a sponge just to pick up any excesses on my skin. So this is the part where a lot of you are gonna find use out of. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Butterscotch. I'm going to apply that where I usually apply highlighter. I'm also gonna be applying some on the center. Just like so. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna conceal. I'm gonna use a concealer that is closer to my skin tone, which is the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Chestnut. So I'm gonna apply that here. It's closer to my skin tone than the rest of the concealer that I applied on my face. I'm also gonna apply some here. I'm gonna leave this to sit on my face while I go ahead and contour. I'm going in with my Koda Beauty Tanto Cream Contour. It's in the shade Medium. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that where I usually apply my contour products which is on my cheekbones the hairline area the bridge of my nose like this side so I can drag it down so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the contour into my skin And then what's left on my brush, I'm gonna go onto my jawline with. I'm gonna start off with my chin. As you can see, it just blends directly into my skin. And then I'm gonna start off with my forehead. So I'm gonna start off with blending what's under my eyes. So the brightness is like focused at the center, but you want a bright under eye. So we are gonna kick it up a notch. So the first thing you're gonna do is to go back in with your foundation brush and you're going to blend out the edges of the harsh line. So this harsh line, you're going to go in and just blend it out with your foundation brush. And it just ends up softening it up. You still have the brightness going, but there's no harsh line. So you're gonna do same here. And then you're gonna go in with a sponge and we're going to suck up any excess product on the nose. Just like so. And we're going to blend out the under eye area. 
if you are not comfortable with how it looks right now you can just simply go back in with the brush you use to blend out your cream contour and then you go back in and blend out the harsh lines so you still have the brightness going so we're going to kick it up a notch if you want the bright bright under eye this is what i would do i'm gonna go in with a concealer that is super light this concealer right here this is the elf camo concealer this is way lighter than me for my simple girls you can just keep it like this but if you want to kick it up a notch you can just go in with a very light concealer i'm gonna place that right here and while the concealer is sitting on the skin i'm gonna go in with a cream blush you guys know that i'm a cream blush girl if not just skip this step altogether i'm going to apply that right here and i'm gonna go back in with my brush that i used to blend out my contour This brings everything together. So what we're gonna do now is to blend out the concealer that we put here. I always prefer to go in with a sponge cause the sponge will suck up any excesses and just give me a smooth base. I already have the coverage I need. All I need is the brightness. So I'm gonna go in with a sponge that I've been using and I'm gonna start to blend under the eye with it. It's gonna look something like this. So it's bright, but it's not as bright. Some people are just going straight with a very light concealer. I feel like it ends up looking gray in my opinion. And I just like this one better. So we're gonna go ahead and blend this side out as well. So it looks like this. It's not as harsh and the harsh lines are not as harsh. This is when you can go ahead and blend out your nose contour. So I'm just gonna drag down the nose contour that I applied earlier. So before you go ahead and set, what you're gonna do is to go back in with your foundation brush and just go over, you know, any harsh lines that you have. And then you can go in with the brush you use to blend out your contour and your cream blush. And then just go over any harsh lines. You can go back in with your sponge and you know iron out any creases so what you're gonna do is to go in with a very light powder this powder is from charlotte tilbury this is the this is lighter than my complexion if you are not one to use a pressed powder on your skin you can just simply go in with your loose powder this is laura mercier but if you want to kick it up a notch keep the brightness going you can just go in with your pressed powder this one is great and you're gonna go in with your powder puff you're gonna go ahead and dip your puff into your light powder tap off any excess at the back of your hand and you're going to push it into your skin So this is what it's gonna end up looking like. And then you're going to go in with your loose powder and you're going to go ahead and put it under the eye like you're going to start baking. If you have dry under eyes or if you have mature skin, please skip the pressed powder face and go in with just your translucent powder, push it under your eyes. Please do not bake. I feel like it's gonna look really dry for you. So yeah. What I'm going to do next is to push some translucent powder everywhere else that I applied concealer to. Just to set the concealer in place. Okay. 
some of you might be like why are you pushing the same translucent powder when you are trying to keep the brightness under your eyes when you push the powder into the concealer it kind of takes the color of the concealer and not the powder per se because the powder is translucent i hope that that makes sense to you guys i'm just pushing it you guys see that it has literally taken the color of the concealer and not necessarily the color of the powder so what you're gonna do next is to go ahead and use a pressed powder that is close to your skin tone to set the rest of your face i'm gonna use my fenty powder in the shade 390 i'm gonna push that all over my face just to set that in place And then the next step is to apply bronzer to set your cream contour or your cream bronzer. I'm going to use this bronzer from Juvia's Place. This is in the shade Tan and I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Also going to go ahead and set the cream contour you applied on your nose. Just like so. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye look. I'm going to go ahead and tight line with a black pencil. And then I'm going to go in with the light brown that I used in my crease to smoke out the black. So what I'm going to do next is to push the powder under my eyes into my skin. I'm going to use the setting brush from Real Techniques and this is how you're going to do that. Literally just pushing it into the skin. It's gonna look something like this. You guys might be worried about harsh lines, but don't worry, that's when we're going to apply blush. So it just fuses everything together. So I'm gonna go in with this blush from Juvia's Base in the shade Bella. I'm simply going to apply that where I applied the cream blush earlier, just like so. As you can see, it looks so much softer on this side than it does this side. Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of my blue color into my inner corners and my lower lash line. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my MAC Fix Plus. For highlighter, I'm gonna use the MAC Mineral Light Skin Finish in the shade Gold Deposit. I'm gonna apply that on the inner corners just to open up my eyes, you know, on top of the blue. It just gives a really nice color. And then I'm gonna put some at the tip of my nose. My brow bone. Cupid's bow and I'm gonna go ahead and apply some onto the high points of my cheekbones I'm gonna keep it really simple with the lips. I'm gonna use my brown lip liner to line my lips
I'm gonna go in with the Evita Joseph liquid matte lipstick in the shade Dai. I'm gonna put that at the center. And then I'm gonna go in with the Zaron lip gloss in the shade 24 Carat. I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty mascara onto my lower lash line. So we've come to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. Definitely skip steps if you feel like this is too much for you. And like I said, if it's way too bright for you, stick to a concealer that is within a shade you are comfortable with. I'm bringing you guys up close so you guys can go ahead and see what it looks like. It's bright under the eyes. There are no harsh lines and everything is just blending into each other. And it looks really, really good. I just wanted to bring you guys up close so you can see what i'm talking about pick and choose what works for you do not forget to like this video if you did enjoy it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next one take care guys bye